He said, the plaintiff, Cheryl Ann Daniels and Jay Johnson. They said they put a deposit down on a car, and once they discovered the car had some issues, they changed their minds about buying it. When they asked for their deposit back, the defendant refused. That's totally not fair. They won't let the flim-flam salesman get away with stealing their hard-earned money and causing emotional distress. So they're suing him for the $5,000 they're owed. This is the defendant, Fred DiNapoli. He says he made it very clear to the plaintiffs that once they sign the purchase order for a car, there are no refunds. Once they came to pick the car up, they started saying they were paying too much, and that's when all the trouble began. Well, he's sorry, but a deal is a deal, and he owes nothing. He's accused of not budging. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiffs plunked down a deposit on the car, had a change of heart when they had issues with the ride. But the defendant says a deal is a deal. It's the case of whip it good. Thank you, Douglas. My honor. Cheryl Ann Daniels and Jay Johnson. You are suing Lopez Motors LLC, represented here by the sales manager, Fred DiNapoli. Is that who you are? Yes, ma'am. Okay, for $5,000. 900 of that emotional distress, the rest of it a deposit that you gave on a vehicle that you don't wish to buy. Tell me what happened. Correct. I had gone into Lopez Motors and um, I had sold the car from the street. So at that time I went in, I liked, liked the way it looked. It's pretty. Yeah. Right. yeah. What was it? It was a Ford, Ford Escape. Escape truck. Okay. Actually it was a 2002. At that time, I just said, well, I like it. And I think my, my um, partner would like it too, but I have to wait till he returned. How long was that wait that you a waited? Week. A, a week. A week. In the meantime, I, mean, I left a deposit. Okay. The first day I left a deposit did for $100. Did you sign anything? I, at that point, I didn't sign anything, but I did get a receipt. Then I went back about four days later. I told him. I was going to bring him $4,000. Did you do that? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, I well, I'm sure you signed a contract then. Uh, uh, yes, I did. Okay, and I, that's I, before he comes back from... Right. Actually, it was supposed to be a gift. It was going to be a surprise, you know. Oh, it was a surprise, all right. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> what did you say when you found out that she had signed a contract? I want my money. <laughs> <laughs> because it's your joint money? Yes. yes. Oh, my goodness. How long have you two been together? About, mm, about two, three months. Two, three months? You already bought a car together? Why don't you guys slow your roll? No, <laughs> we were friends. We were friends. We knew each other, so we know. Wait, are you dating or aren't you? Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What it, call it, man. Are you dating or aren't you? Yeah, we somewhat. We're somewhat. Somewhat? <laughs> somewhat. All right, let me see what you signed, honey. What happened here? She bought the car? The no, I did not buy the car. What I did is I did sign it. You did sign what? It's a contract for the vehicle. To buy how, the car? How, yes. However, okay. he also said that um, he could insure me. I said, well, I don't have a license. What? You don't have a license? Why are you buying a car? Is that why you didn't yeah. test drive it? Actually, I had somebody to test drive it that was with me, but she said, since it's for Jay, let him test drive his own vehicle. So why didn't you just not buy it until Jay got back from wherever adventure he was at? I don't understand. Actually, it was, um, it was, it was going to be a surprise. It was my birthday and I wanted a car. Oh, so who was a surprise for? Yeah, him or you? It was a surprise for him, however. On your was, birthday? Wait, it was a surprise no, for him on he, your birthday he, and you no, wanted a car? No, he was giving me the, the cash. So I wanted to spend this cash on a vehicle. So at that time when they, um, in the state of Connecticut, they could register it without, with just a state ID. However, you cannot give me insurance without a state ID, but I did receive progressive insurance. I have the insurance. Progressive's not gonna insure you if you have a suspended license. Why is your license suspended? Yeah, no, as soon as they figure they it out. They insured her because Lopez Motors' wife works for Progressive. For Progressive? How'd you get insurance for somebody with a suspended Fraudulent. license? Fraudulent. We didn't get them insurance. I don't yes, know. Yes, you did. I paid. Paid. The paperwork I paid. is right The paperwork you paid. I paid $500 <laughs> to Lopez because for the insurance. How did she get insurance if her license is suspended? She asked us, you know, could we refer her someplace to get insurance? And we gave her several places that she could go to. Were you part of this transaction or weren't you? Never no, no ma'am. No. Okay, no. where's the guy who was this part of this transaction? 
Neither one of them is They're here. not here right now. <laughs> Bottom line, Your Honor, is that if you look on the purchase order and it was very I, clearly I explained I got to it. her. I know how to do this. Okay. I've read the contract. I'd like to know what happened on that day at that discussion. Okay. Um, right. Mr. Johnson here actually has nothing to do with this because he is not even on this contract. Well, tell me what happens. He gets back into town and then what? When he gets back into town, I said... Honey, you told me I could use 5000 so I bought a car. Oh, for he myself, said, but it's yeah. a surprise for you. Surprise! <laughs> he, he said, I thought you were going to plan a trip for us. I said, but I am with the car. Yeah. So he said, well, let me trip. go see this car. So at that time, he said, well, what did you do? Was he mad already or no? He was mad already. I don't blame him. He was mad already. So these guys were dating for two months, and they bought a car together. Too soon? I think you should never buy anything together. You should always. Well, after say 30 years, maybe two months. Always good to have one foot out the door and just in case. Oh, <laughs> I love that. That's a woman of commitment. What do you think? Uh, no, I don't think they should have brought it together. How long before you start buying stuff together when you're dating? Uh, a couple years. Fair enough. Smart woman going inside the courtroom. So what did you do? So I started talking to Lee about the car. So they let me test drive it. And it was a piece of junk. No brakes oil chain needed. Everything they said they would repair, they never did. I asked them for my money back. <laughs> it's not my truck. She never took possession of it. What do you think? Did you read this? Yeah, I read that. But what am I, I supposed didn't to do with that. this? I know you didn't sign <laughs> I that, baby. Sign that. I know you didn't sign yeah. that, but this is a typical <clears throat> retail sales contract for the purchase of a car. What am I supposed to do with this? How can he sell her a car with no license, though? You can she sell a car no, to somebody who doesn't have a license. She has no She's just not supposed to be driving it. Right. right. And you do know what you signed says that you're buying the car. What? What are the as two is. little words? As is. As is. However, the vehicle is sold as is. This means you will have to pay for any repairs needed after the sale. If we've made any promises to you, the law says we must keep them. Even if we sell it as is to protect yourself, ask us to put all promises in writing. Are there any promises in writing? that you say they failed to meet? Well, you were starting to say something about things they were supposed to fix? They were supposed to fix the oil. They told her they would fix the oil. Is that in the writing? The bumper. Is that in writing anywhere? I don't I have no idea. Yeah. Your Honor, it's all been taken care of. We safety check every one of our vehicles. They Did you put fix through the, the oil? Shop. Was there some talk about the oil in the bumper? It was change the oil before delivery. How much is left on the, on the deal, including financing, after this deposit? $3,600. $3,600. And the car's book value is what? 69 and change off the top of the head. No. Yeah, we'll just get it. We'll get it. 2002 Ford Escape. Your Honor. Let's let talk about the issue at hand. Let, let which me is ask. that you okay, signed wait, a contract wait, wait. you regret signing. Right. And but I, how am I going to treat you differently than every other red-blooded American who comes in front of me who signs a contract? I don't want that car to be, quote, repossessed and taken from you. I want you to be able to go through with your purchase of the car. And then if you want to sell the, the car, somebody else, obviously, if you can't register it, then someone else is going to have to register it. It doesn't make a difference to me what you do. Your problems, the fact that your license is suspended and you choose to buy a car anyway, doesn't mean that they can't enforce a contract against you. Those are your issues. This was an impulsive <clears throat> move on your part. Hopefully there's a lot more to you, and I'm sure there is, than this one error of your life. This is the worst error you ever commit in your life. We're doing great, okay? So hopefully this is a good man who's gonna forgive you for this problem and we're gonna move on from here and try to figure out what we can do to put you in a position where you don't lose that money. The one issue in front of me right now is whether or not this is enforceable and I find that it is enforceable. You're gonna need to pick up that car and make the payments because it's your car. The car isn't ready to be picked up. Okay. The car is ready to I'm be gonna, picked no, up. No, we're done, we're done. I am gonna give you, is, Two weeks reasonable? That's reasonable. So that they can come up with the June payment? Yes. All right, at that point, if they have chosen not to pick up the car, then your dealership has the right to proceed with whatever the contract says you have a right to proceed, right. technically right. repossessing the car from your own lot and proceeding to sell it and do whatever else you, you need to do. I'm gonna give them two weeks, okay. okay? I'm sorry, but this is, I didn't sign it. The judge has given the plaintiff two weeks to pick the car up. What, what are you going to do? We're going to get it. Eh? You're going to get it? Gonna, you, we have no choice at this point. We're not your license is money. clear, right? Yes, it is. And All if right. not, Mr. Johnson has a clear license. Okay. Do you forgive her for the mistake? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. okay, good. All right, good luck thank, with this thank thing. You okay. Thank you. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so come on in here. What's uh, what's going through your mind here? That's, I hear this, you know, from every now and then you'll hear from an irate customer because he wasn't there to have his input on the decision. Um, well, how are you going to deal with him when he comes in over these next two weeks to pick this I'm car? I'm going to deal him deal with him like a professional, like I do with everybody else. He has the two weeks, which I the judge asked me, would I give him two? And yes, I said, I'll give you two weeks to pick up your car, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Harvey? Okay, Kurt, the plaintiff did in fact pick up the car, so case closed. And that will do it for this case, litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.